Yo, 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 what up, though? Street Lord Rook, OG in the building, man. Detroit <laughs> royalty. You know, you know what I'm saying? The, the Spike Lee of the city right now <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> um, new movie out right now on Amazon, man. Yeah. This is one more lick, right? No, one, one more flip. One more flip. God damn, one, one more flip. flip. I said one more lick. Always trying to rob something. Talk about the movie, man. Like, it's out now, man. Like, we'll side a baby in the movie. Royce the Five Nine in the movie. Who else in that boy? Um, Payroll Giovanni. Payroll. In the movie. Uh, Mina Monroe in the movie. It's a lot of hot up and coming actors in the movie. Like from around the city, you probably seen them in some other. Well, if people seen some other Detroit projects, got gotcha. you. Uh, a, a few of the artists are in there. Uh, the comedian Jack Jackpot the Juice is okay. in the. Um, he's a part of the um, production also. So yeah, man, it's um, you know, it's been it's been work, man. You know, I've been kind of doing film for quite some time. Um, I got great team, team of staff guys who shoot, who shot my film. They sh- shot Power. They've shot Empire. You got know? you. So it, it doesn't look like a Detroit film. Right? Got you. Like, or you know that stigma they try to say, oh, that's a Detroit film or a low budget film, but it, it doesn't look like that. You know what? I've heard the term Detroit film for the first time yesterday. He's like, bro, it ain't one of them Detroit movies. And I was like, what the hell is a Detroit movie? But I didn't realize, because um, Cash Doll name came up about the sex scene in the, the BMF. Movie, yeah. He was like, man, she looked good, but her acting is still like them Detroit movies. And I'm like, wait, what's the Detroit movies? I didn't know it was other movies out here like that. Um, it's a lot of different Detroit movies. There's popping. It's a lot of different people making films in the city. Um, Got you. You know, I support them, hats off to them. It's a lot of people trying to do some constructive things. Um, so, you know, hats off to those people. Got you, man. Like, with this movie, man, what, what what do you think makes this movie special that people should go tap in? What can they expect by going to see this movie on Amazon? It's real. You know, that's the main thing. Like, I try to, it's real and uh it has a positive message throughout the story. Like, Got you. And then, like, granted, I've done advertising on Facebook because this is all independent. It's all me. I put up all the money. I've been making it happen. Um, people always got a stigma about when African Americans is trying to do something. Oh, it's just another black movie about blacks killing blacks or something negative to say rather yeah. than to look at the bigger picture where. Whoever is making the project, these individuals are working and doing something constructive that may be keeping them out of the streets or out of doing something negative. So I've probably put a ton of negative stuff in the atmosphere. You know, a lot of people looked up to me. I rapped about getting money. You know, I was indicted for making $40 million in like a 10 month span for Man. selling marijuana. Like at the time, we had the biggest marijuana conspiracy in Michigan history. So I put a lot of negativity into the world. So now I'm trying to put some positive in where I can maybe change a few people because all of that shit that got started from Cartier glasses. I mean, you do your history, do your research, and they'll find out it came from the street lord. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just saying it. I mean, you can... Pull up some videos. I mean, you pull up to come roll with a nigga video with Blade Icewood. You pull up any of that street lord shit, and you'll find out the influence that we had on the Detroit rap culture. Period. You know, so it's a great thing to see guys like Big Sean, Sada Baby, Vezo, Babyface Ray, Man. all the Detroit guys doing their thing. Cause I know. Our music has probably had an influence on on them in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Absolutely, had to. Yeah, for but, sure. 